would it be mad to think that somebody would throw a provincial final? It probably would be mad. Straight <laughs> up, I think it would be probably unethical for, for any team. But... So the football championship starts this weekend, but does anybody even know what's happening? Colin Keyes, you're here to help us break it down. What's going on? Explain this championship that I think people are going to get caught out with. Well, Conan, that's going to be difficult even in the time that we have here. Yeah. But the briefest synopsis possible is that the championship kicks off, as we know, this weekend. Provincial championships will be as they are and as we have always known known them, knockout. It'll be played over six weeks and then we will pivot into All-Ireland Championships and it was split between two 16s after that. The top 16 and there are various mechanisms for how those 16 are arrived at and a bottom 16 to play for the Talchin Cup. But bottom line is provincial championships as they are, the volume of games overall will increase from 60 last year to 99 this year. So that's a huge spike. It's probably fair to say for the first time it's not as beneficial to the longer run, the bigger picture, to win your provincial championship. The provincial championship certainly I feel is a little bit diluted by this, maybe more than a little bit. Uh, if you take Mayo, Mayo have won the league, yeah. Division 1 league, uh, they face three games in Connacht. Now ordinarily if they won through their province it would actually mean less games because yeah. they would be straight into a quarter final. Should they lose to Roscommon on Sunday it would mean less games overall for the broader picture of what they're really chasing is an All-Ireland title. So they would have a six-week reset uh, before they would commence uh, in the Round Robin Sam Maguire Championship, whereas they will have to win their way through to much the same place. The only difference would be if they got to a, a Connick final and won it, they'd be first seeds. But as they are now as league champion, champions, they'd be ter- third seeds. And have they put it at risk the provincial championships in that they've decided that they're going to put the draw for the All-Ireland series the groups of four they're going to do that before the provincial finals so like if I'm going into a provincial final and I now can see my two paths and one path might be kinder than the other actually it almost certainly will would it be would it, would it be mad to think that somebody would throw a provincial final? It probably would be mad. Straight <laughs> up, I think it would be probably unethical for, for any team. But all participants in the Sam Maguire and in the Talton Cup, but in the Sam Maguire round robin, all, all participants will have vision. They will be able to see what group they are in before the provincial finals are completed. And it's 12 days before the Leinster and Ulster finals. So the teams, participating teams in the provincial finals will be able to see what group they are going into before they play their provincial finals. So yes, the option would be to say, well, if they saw, for argument's sake, Dublin and possibly Tyrone yeah. and maybe Galway or Mayo in their group, or it, it, however it works out yeah. uh, in accordance with the seedings, they will be able to see, well, that's a little bit easier. I don't think it would ever come to that, yeah. but that option is there if a team decided, yeah, this is an easier pathway to an All-Ireland quarterfinal for us. Perhaps that's the better route. Talk to me about the seedings from the teams coming from Division 3 and 4 to start with because there have been cases this year where players playing on those teams aren't aware that they might not be competing for Sam Maguire unless, of course, they get their provincial final. Some of them thought, if we win Division 3, that should be us taken care of. Well, the first thing is that when the Connacht draw was made yeah. and it placed all that province's Division 3 and 4 teams, Sligo, Leitrim, London and then New York, obviously, as well, all on the one side of the draw... That automatically guaranteed that one of those teams from Division 3 or 4, or New York as it is, would make a provincial final. And that would guarantee them second seed status in the San Maguire Cup because the first seeds in the round robin groups will be the provincial champions. The second seeds will be the provincial finalists. Yep. The third seeds will be the next four highest placed league teams at the conclusion of the league that aren't in provincial finals. And the fourth seeds will be the four highest ranked teams in the league, again at the conclusion of the champion, uh, at the conclusion of the league. So therefore you're dropping down into probably division two teams at that stage. And in some cases, perhaps Donegal as well, because they are bottom. So they may, depending on how Westmead do, they could be fourth seeds too. So effectively, because of the Connacht four, as we would call them, are guaranteed 
eight place a second seeds in the All Ireland Championship in the round robin draw. That means that Cavan, as the promoted team, are not guaranteed Sam Maguire status. Ordinarily, they would be if there was no guarantee of Division Three team yeah. reaching a provincial final. But they're not guaranteed. The only way Cavan can play Sam Maguire football mm. this year is to reach an Ulster final. I think we're all impressed with Calvin at the minute. That's not beyond their realms of belief that they could do that. Their draw, I think, pits him with Armagh or Antrim and then it pits him with Donegal or Down. And I think Calvin could take both of those teams to get to an Ulster final. What does that do for then the teams here above Calvin? I'm thinking like a Meath. Well, obviously, all eyes, first of all, will be on Clare and Cork this weekend yeah. in Ennis because Clare are now officially a Division Three team. You must remember, it's at the... It's at the conclusion of the league. So therefore, they are displaced in the ranking order by the two teams that come up. Cavan and Fermanagh come up. They fill 17 and 18. And Clare and Limerick go down. So they become, they become the, sorry, they become 15 and 16, Cavan and Fermanagh. And Clare and Limerick become 17 and 18. If they beat Cork on Sunday, that guarantees that a Division yeah. Three team, either Clare or Limerick, reach the Munster final. And that jeopardises Meath as the 14th team. Yeah. They are then in jeopardy because of that. I'm sure when the draws for the Sam Maguire and Talchin Cup become apparent and everything becomes live, shall we say, they realise the impact that league status has had. Yeah. Meath losing to Kildare in the last round of the league could actually really influence this, especially, obviously, if Clare beat Cork then that result is really, really pivotal to the overall, yeah. unless me reach a Leinster final. An important question is, everybody for a long time has wanted to see groups of four. Why have they ruined it? Why are three teams going through from those groups of four? We're essentially going to have four groups of four. There's going to be 24 matches across those groups, and we're going to whittle down to 12, from 16 to 12. Is that is that just a bit lame that we've done that? It's to safeguard against the dead rubber games that we saw during the yeah. Super 8s. This means that going into the last round of the round robin, it effectively means that every team is fighting for something, whether it's to top the group and go straight into an All-Ireland qu quarterfinal or to make that second and third place playoff. And even, even within that, there is the prize for the second team in the playoff. The team that finishes second gets home venue wow. in the preliminary quarterfinal so that's quite a big carrot as well so while all this is going on the Talsing Cup will be running concurrently at the same time pretty much so it obviously yeah. would start a little bit earlier uh, key dates for that are May the 13th of course the draw will be mm. the same time as the All-Ireland draw so that's a big afternoon Tuesday May the 2nd a yeah. date worth noting obviously for everybody to see to see uh, what how the seedings work out the yeah. Talton Cup will, will, will also work on a seeded basis based on the order of the leagues. One factor is if New York reach... <laughs> what happens there? The Connacht final. Well, they play in the Sam Maguire and then the Talton Cup becomes a 17-team competition. You will have three groups of four and one group of five. So it will require pushing the dates back of the preliminary quarterfinals, quarterfinals and semi-finals by one week. But for many years, Conan, it operated on a provincial rota basis. Every three years, the champions of Ulster would play Munster yeah. or whoever replaced them if they had lost in a quarter-final. Yeah. Um, whoever beat the Ulster champions would then play the Munster champions or whoever beat yeah. That's That's the way. It was a rota every, every three years. That's gone. For the first time ever, we will see an All-Ireland semi-final draw provided that there are no repeats. Wow, Colin, that's absolutely brilliant. Well explained, and you've actually won me over in a lot of instances <laughs> as well, so fair play to you. I didn't think that could happen.